This is uh, part two of Visio cubicle drawing. Uh, in this section, we'll be covering adding some additional equipment, uh, doing some dimensioning, uh, laying out the drawing a little better, adding a border, and some title information uh, to finish up the drawing. We're going to start out um, with a little additional equipment. Uh, we had uh, the stencil and everything in place from the last time we did this. Now we're going to uh, look at some office equipment. We'll be uh, putting in a printer. We'll add a uh, scanner. I'm going to put in a keyboard. And I like to put a monitor in. We're not really seeing here something for a flight panel. This is what we'd expect to use now. So I'm going to take a projection screen and just use the size of that. And it's going to become my flight panel monitor. And that's it for equipment. Now we'll be looking at um, adding some dimensions to the drawing. So to do that, we have to add some stencils that didn't come by default with the uh, office uh, layout. We can go to the uh, File menu, look at Shapes, and then go to Visio Extras. Here we're going to look at uh, Annotations. We're also going to bring over dimensioning, these US units. And we'll also look at bringing over title blocks and US units. So now uh, for dimensions, uh, I'm going to just show some basic dimensions. It's pretty easy to, to add these. Uh, we have a horizontal dimension shown, and we're going to take the dimension points and uh, put them at the side ends of the wall. And we can uh, move the uh, dimensions further or closer. And um, we can also take the dimension itself and either leave it on the line, move it up or down. I like it right on the line. I'm going to put in a vertical dimension. We'll see here that we have inside dimensions and outside dimensions. For, for small dimensions, sometimes we want to go with an outside. Uh, for larger ones like this, we can pretty much go with uh, using the uh, inside. Looks uh, pretty good in dimensions because it's the basic size of our uh, cubicle. Now, before we uh, add any uh, annotations and uh, borders and stuff like that, we're going to go to the uh, shape menu and we're going to choose to center the drawing. Just sort of move things in a, in a better location. Then we're going to put a border, and for that, we're just going to use a, uh, a rectangle. Simple border. Now the border uh, rectangle by default will be solid, so we're going to go to fill and choose no fill. Then uh, we'd like to put in some titles, and uh, for that we have uh, title blocks and you can put things here that will uh, put in fields that are located elsewhere on the drawing. So we're going to choose here to uh, put together a few. We'll have a, uh, a description, a date, we'll have, um, I think we'll put the file name in, also going to put in a 
睇咯。Zoom in a little bit on the drawing to see how these lay out. And we、uh, Change the dimensions of these to fit our text. It shows our file name. So now, if we look at these, we can see that、uh, these get、um, have、uh, already things filled in on them. And the place where this comes from is the properties block. So we go to properties, and、um, here we'll see that、um, we have a place for a title and for a description.、Um, I'm going to call the title、uh, "Cubicle Layout," and then we'll also put a description.、Um, we'll call it "Cubicle." Shows up right here in the title block.、Uh, I think we'll also add、uh, one other item in here, which would be the、uh, run by. Select that whole title block. I'm just going to move that over to get centered on the page. Over the whole page view, and、uh, that looks、uh, about where we'll leave it for right now. So we have、uh, layout with furnishings and、um, dimensions and title block.